if we can't protect this and do the things to maintain it, what does that mean for the rest of the world, the life support system that keeps us alive? The entire National Park Service has made a commitment to becoming greener in the way that we do business and the way that we serve visitors. We're looking for ways to make sure that our visitors understand that it's important to us to be environmentally responsible. It's, it's really a, uh, one of the places that gets us as close as we can be to the most natural conditions that, that we find on Earth. A lot of people that might disagree that this phenomenon of climate change is even real or existing are the most adversely affected by it. Will it take them to lose things and see it before they want to make an effort? You know, I think a lot of people will say, well, it'll still be wild and it'll still be different, but I have to disagree. You know, we're in the early stages of what I consider to be a catastrophe and you can't hide how you feel about this anymore. This has to work out a certain way. We need to stop the problem before it gets to that point. What would you say to people who would argue that the differences that we're seeing are an anomaly, that if you zoom out far enough, it's gonna be just a blip and it's not as bad as you think and it's gonna be part of the normal course correction of the planet. The biggest difference is the rate of the change that we're talking about. And it's, it's very well correlated to industrial activity. If you run the climate projections out into the future under a business as usual scenario, you'll have years that are as dry as 1988, which was considered you know, like a 300 year event. By 2050 or so, that'll happen every three to five years. But no matter how far it is from asphalt or industry, it's still ground zero for rapid climate change. It's not a science problem, it's a human problem. You have to reach people in a, a way that they care about. If future generations are going to remember us with gratitude rather than contempt, we must leave them more than the miracles of modern technology. We must leave them a glimpse of the world as it was when it was new, not just after we got through with it. Citizens Climate Education gives ordinary citizens the power to educate political leaders, the media, and the general public about climate change solutions. Find your local chapter and get started today.